apologies for the terrible, terrible car lighting right now, but it is one o'clock and I am getting on the road to go to Sky Pond. I'll be there around 2.30, which is 30 minutes earlier than I initially had planned, but that's fine. I don't know what the moon is tonight, so how bright it will be out, but extra time always helps getting out there in the dark because I've never been there before, but we're going to do it. All right, now that that's done, let's get this show on the road. It is 2.30, and I'm not even the first person at this trailhead. Online it says that this parking lot fills up empty, and the earliest I saw someone put in the reviews was 4.30, but they also said the parking lot was full. So some people, crazier, more crazy than I am, which is cool. It's all good. The one thing I am adding, I'll turn this light on for this, hip straps for my pack. We'll be going on for this hike because it's a lot longer. If you're new to hiking, I won't show you now. I don't see a point in recording anything right now because it's dark, can't see anything. And while it's dark, nothing will be recorded with my new camera. I don't know about you guys, I'm clumsy. I can't see shit anyways. I wear contacts and am still blind. I can't see menus, I can't see rocks i can't see red flags i can't see anything and it's honestly a rough life you 2020 people you got the good genes and i would like i would like that but you can't win at life all the time but i will show you if you're new to hiking at some point why for longer hikes at least i prefer having the option of hip straps i know a lot of packs give you the option of removing them and normally for shorter hikes I do I don't feel like the need to do it but this is gonna be a 10 mile hike I don't want that oil on my back I'm gonna put the pack straps on and then we're gonna get going I will see you when it's more light out <laughs> I finally got my GPS lock on my phone. Um, if you do hikes like this, I recommend a headlamp for sure, but Austin offered me an extra flashlight. I would just take that for peace of mind. Probably be easier to see like eyes, like in the woods. There's supposed to be a lot of elk and stuff on this trail, but it's really nice. You just listen. just a bunch of nature. So we're a little bit more than a mile in. Elevation gain is pretty gradual as of right now. I know when we get to the other waterfall, not Alberta, the second one, I forget the name. I think it's by the walk, or that is the waterfall. That is supposed to be where it picks up. We're making pretty good time. I don't think this is bad at all right now. I'm definitely going to have a lot of extra time to set up for Blue Hour, which is nice, I like that. Just, I always time things wrong when I do these kind of things, but extra time is never bad, I guess. I think that's actually easier to get to this trail from this trailhead than the one with Emerald Lake. Interesting. 
two mile check in. Still cruising, going good. Elevation gain still not an issue. 2.7 miles to go. So I think this is gonna end up being a little bit more than 8.6, which is what's on this specific trailhead. But going good. That's that thing scared the shit out of me for a second. I thought I was in very big trouble. But we're good. The hike continues. I'm gonna have to come back to this spot because this is beautiful from like right here. Where I'm standing, you can see the whole lock. And that little light right here is the moon, and that's a reflection in the water. So this is supposed to be mile three check-in. I just showed you guys where I'm at at the lake. I'm at 3.2 in a little under two hours. I've just been hanging out. The stars actually came out, so I stopped in some spots to just sit and appreciate it. I'm gonna keep on walking for a little bit though. I don't like, actually no, I'm not. I don't like having the flash on so you could see me because I can't see and I just want to make sure everything is good because everything sounds different in the dark so you can never be too careful and I've seen some droppings on the trail so better safe than sorry I'd rather be able to see than walk and talk to you but see you at mile four Lake of Glass and then Sky Pond. So we don't have that much longer. Still chilling. Um, like the review said on all trails, uh, the climb over Timberland Falls is the hardest part of the hike apparently. So we'll check in before and after. Just see how that goes. See you soon. If you can hear me, from what I can tell, this is the incline. There were some stairs to get up here, but it wasn't too bad. Um, 4.08. My watch is a little off from my timer. I started my watch late, but 4.08 on my watch. and see how long this is. the top. Okay, we're gonna call this top 4.19 so this is like 0.11 for like the waterfall climb honestly this might be a <laughs> bad thing for me to admit but I thought the stairs up to the waterfall were harder than the waterfall as long as you make sure your footing's good but with that my preference is also bouldering than stairs so take that as you will just be prepared for that it's gonna be a good sunrise you can see colors already
to film this before I forget. But bonus having these is you can adjust where your weight sits. So I got my belt fitted to my waist on top of my hips. Shoulder straps are in and then I put this too far. So I do this. But and then hold it so it's snug and the weight gets evenly distributed between your shoulders and your hips and I just did four and a half miles I'm not tired and if you want to give one a break you want to go on your hips loosen the top not so much that it's like super gappy and on your back but just enough that you can feel it resting more so on your hips if your hips are too much Pull these down a little extra, and you can loosen this if you want, but you have complete control of where the weight is sitting in your body. And honestly, this is probably the best I have felt hiking with this bag. So this is part of what you climb up. This is what it looks like during the day. This is the stairs part I was talking about. I have more breath going down, but my knees are screaming. Also, I have an emotional support stick. Got like three holsters for it. It's pretty neat. I swear I just heard someone. Because there are people. Look at all those chickens. No one's not focusing. I wonder if I walked right past them. <laughs> That's why. Make sure your gear's on before you start troubleshooting because I almost went down this whole rabbit hole and I didn't have the microphone plugged into a power source. Didn't know you needed to do that, now I know. And now we're here. So we'll see how the audio does for this, if anything's wrong with it. It's on my side, not on the mic side because Austin's used this before and he's done fairly well with it. So getting back into the trail review. Sky Pond was honestly one of the best hikes I think I have done. It was so much fun. Doing it by yourself was almost liberating, but you can do it with a friend if you'd like. So if you go up there wanting to see a sunrise, I would recommend honestly, if it's blue hour going into the sunrise, to stay at Glass Lake. When you come up on top of Timberland Falls, you're right in front of Glass Lake, and then straight behind that is Sky Pond. But directly behind you, if you turn around, you see the whole horizon of mountains behind you, and that is where the sun comes up. So if you're looking for the sunrise, go ahead. If you want to go to Sky Pond, this is what you're going to see on the sunrise, which again is cool. I personally would have rather seen the actual sun come up over the mountains and be able to be at the lake and just turn around and watch like the sunrise go up because that's just that's what I like. Like I got to see the peaks of the mountain at Sky Pond get highlighted, which is cool. They were pink for a little bit, but my preference, as I said, would be the sunrise between the two. I'm just double checking what I originally recorded for you so I could go over that again because as I showed you in the little like screen grab thing, 
Because it's not so much your feet, it's you have to use your hands as well. It sounds like ass. So we're going through it again. But again, love the whole hike. If you want to see the sunrise, my preference, I would stay at Glass Lake. And then once everything is done, I'd go up to Sky Pond. They're really not that far apart. For the whole trail, I took seven and a half hours. I did the actual hike in between four and a half and five hours, I think it was. And then the rest of that time was hanging out, taking pictures, jumping into the lake. One of my favorite parts about that trail is I saw so many elk that day, but seriously, if you go, be careful. They're still wild animals. They can still, like, you just have to anticipate that they're wild animals. Like, yes, they might be a little bit used to people, essentially, since they're at the national park, but they're still wild. So you have no idea what they're going to do. When I came down at the bottom of the stairs, I was not expecting there to be that many elk and it was great but I stopped I went to the other side and I had my camera out already so I took some videos I didn't attempt to get close I did not try to feed them I didn't make any noise wave at them try to grab their attention I just wanted to see how they were naturally and it was great it was a great experience when I left there I made sure to tell the families coming up especially if they had children that there were elk there just so they knew and they didn't scare anything so nothing would happen I generally do that if I see wildlife, just so people have a heads up. Now, the second one that I saw scared the living daylights out of me because I came around a corner and I heard this, I don't even like know how to describe what I heard because it sounded like stomping on the ground and then a rip, but he was eating, or she, I think it was a female, but eating. And it just looked at me and we were face to face about <laughs> the length like the distance between myself and my camera right now or probably the distance that we saw and I already had my camera out so I just pushed record and I slowly walked away. Just don't get close. Like it is so cool to see them but it is not worth some like something happening to you to get it. It is definitely better safe than sorry. I think that's all I wanted to talk to you about and I hope that's it because I have to Start getting ready to head to work soon. Got a, got a little job for my spare time just to keep busy. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. Please comment what your favorite thing about the hike was below or let me know what you'd like to see next. As always, just happy to be here and I'll see you later.